Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do a random reading for July 10th. Like I always say, it's a general, so take it applies if it applies. You know what to do with the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, love you guys, you rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact, so whether you give me a shout over the phone or shoot me an email, just set up quickly and done quickly. Uh, I still have tarot card classes if anyone would like to learn. There's five videos plus a bonus video. They're $20 piece. And uh, my mystery healing boxes are absolutely beautiful. If you want to learn more about those, you know what to do. <laughs> All right, let's see what's shaking for the 10th whoa, of July. Mm. We have the Taurus card of the Hierophant. Having faith, having hope, higher institutes of learning. Having a moral standard that we don't bend or lower for anybody or anything. Hmm. Let's see what this, this is all about. You know, somebody might be in touch, you know, or getting in touch with their spiritual side here. Hmm. Then we have the two of rods. This is somebody taking a brand new course of action. And bringing in all those new possibilities from that action. New places, new things, new situations. Because they might be leaving something that was heartbreaking. Disappointing. Somebody could have renewed their faith here after something that was very disappointing or heartbreaking. And now they're looking at it positively. They're probably healing from the pain of whatever this was. They're finding their strength back. Or it could be a Leo. The inner strength. Having the guts. You know, being brave, courageous to persevere through anything. And then we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, still a good card, I think. In the upright, this is taking a brand new course of action. Putting something into motion. It could be a new creative endeavor. In the reverse, usually there's something that needs to be done first before this gets offered. Maybe somebody has to completely heal here from a certain situation. And then, something gets offered. And this could be in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. Somebody could be just on the road to recovering from something painful. And they get the guts to, to go on this road. Could be with... A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who takes on these properties. You get the King of Pentacles. King, Queen, don't matter, it's an energy. Somebody who's grounded, practical, methodical, don't sugarcoat things. A realist. And this is right under the Hierophant card, which is a Taurus card. You know, somebody being real with themselves. You know, and again, if they could be getting in touch with their higher self to be strong and persevere through something. Because it looks like this person already took the initiative to heal. Whether it's with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Earth-like person, or from an Earth-like person. Hmm. Glass is half full now instead of being half empty, I feel. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's ready to create. Create. Get that out. Manifest. Could be the law of attraction. Or just building a better life. Building a better scenario for what this person came out of that was disappointing. We have the high priestess here. Keeper of secrets. But she totally trusts her intuition. She's guided by it. 
If she tell everyone, no. Nope. But you can't underestimate the high priestess. She knows a lot more than what she says. And this person could be keeping their pain or their healing private, but now wiser because of their experience. And they could be getting ready to start all over again. Their friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those shape, uh, ships. This person might be renewing their strength. Oops. Hmm. Because now we have the Queen of Wands. This is Sagittarius, uh, Aries, Leo energy, or somebody who takes on these properties. Somebody who is creative, passionate, motivated, go get it done. And it's right under the strength card. There's five. Now you get double earth here and you get double fire here. And now you have the Ace of Pentacles. An opportunity to have something worthwhile and valuable. Could it be a new job? Sure. A new way of making money? New found money? Absolutely. But it seems like to me that somebody maybe didn't take a course of action. Stayed maybe on the healing path. Maybe they didn't jump into another friendship, partnership, love ship or such. They started manifesting, creating again. And they, they put their energy into their passions. And because they didn't work or put the energy into, you know, whatever course of action is, now something more valuable comes out of it. Wow. Because somebody here might have been left out in the cold. You get the five of pentacles in feeling ousted, outcast, shunned, blocked, outside looking in, financial pinch. So somebody here definitely is on the road to recovery, financially, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. So let's get it. We have the Taurus card of the hair font. You know, having faith and having hope and having that moral standard. I think somebody is a little bit more optimistic about the possibilities that could come if they take a course of action. And I think the course of action is to heal from something that was very disappointing or heartbreaking. And having the guts and having the courage to go through this process. There could have been an opportunity that came that caused for a course of action. Maybe somebody decided not to take it. Maybe it wasn't for them. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who is Earth-like. Being practical and being methodical now. Being real just came to my head. This person wants to manifest on what's in the future, not what's gone. And bring better scenarios. I think this person trusts themselves more. And no, they're not going to tell everybody about their experience, but they'll learn from it. And maybe this person now could be dealing with a fire-like person, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or somebody who has these properties that's more motivated, positive, passionate, creative, go gets it done. And because of this healing that they chose to heal themselves before jumping into something else, Something very valuable comes to it. Or them. And maybe at the right time, when somebody was feeling alone. Maybe abandoned. Wow. Props to this person. So let's break this down, folks. We have double earth here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, or earth-like energy. Maybe they have restored hope and faith. Maybe they stuck to their guns about their moral standard. They are now looking positive towards the future and wanting to manifest and create positive things that come to them. The heartbreak or the disappointment what this person's gone through, they'll chalk it up as learning. I think it made them stronger, wiser. Maybe they trust their intuition more. Because now we have double, double fire, the strength, the guts to persevere, motivated, passionate, creative. Go get it done. It's like a new lease on life. 
And when one opportunity they might have not worked on or jumped on was smart because it brought in another opportunity that is very valuable to this person. Wow! So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.